Hello friends and welcome to another lecture on simulation of ethyl benzene. This is the fourth lecture and in this lecture we will be simulating the first reactor. Now here it can be seen that the first reactor operates at 434 Kelvin and 20 atmospheres. Okay, ethylene and benzene are fed into the reactor. The reaction that occurs in the first reactor are, first reaction is ethylene plus benzene gives you ethyl benzene and ethyl benzene plus ethylene gives you diethyl benzene. Now we need to understand here that reaction number two is an undesired reaction. So let's go ahead and simulate the first reactor. So for this we click on reactors. We take a fixed conversion reactor and add it here. And we assign the reaction package to it. Now I write this as fixed conversion reactor 1. That is I rename it as then I draw the outlet stream and I also join the inlet stream that is feed reactor 1. Just drag it and join it to this fixed conversion reactor. Draw the outlet stream 2. Now rename the outlet stream as reactor 1 outlet or out. That would be fine. Now double click. Go on edit. Now the temperature of the reactor is 437 Kelvin. So let's check it once again. What is it? 434 Kelvin. Yeah. So 434 Kelvin. And the reactions that occur in this are reaction number one. Okay. So we have to give the parameters here. So let's go to extent of the reaction. The extent of the reaction is 152.5525. This is considering that 99% of the ethylene reacts and we have the ratio of ethylene to, sorry, the ratio of ethyl benzene to ethyl benzene plus diethyl benzene as 0.852 that is the ethyl benzene selectivity is 0.852. So if we do a calculation, we get the extent of reaction as 152.5525. Now we add the second reaction and we put the extent of reaction. And the extent of reaction here is 22.578. Click OK. And let's run the simulation. The simulation has run. And as you can see, the ratio of ortho diethyl benzene to the total of ethyl benzene plus ortho diethyl benzene is going to be equal to 0.85. If you want to check it up, here is it. Let's take the calculator. And what we can do is 81.2808. So that will be in the denominator 81.2808 plus 467.9082 and on the numerator you have the amount of ethyl benzene that is 467.9028 and there we are it's 0.85198 so that's 0.852. So this is the way how you simulate the reactor. The outlet for the reactor is 
as given in the article. The total flow out of the reactor is 1599.93. Now let's look at what is the warning that it has been given giving the, now whenever we get a triangle a red triangle below any unit operation it's a warning so let's check the warning so we go to the status and it says that fixed conversion reactor warning phase defined in the reaction one is vapor but the is present is liquid so let's go back let's go to settings and let's go to reaction packages and in the reaction let's go to reaction number one and change it to liquid and let's rerun the simulation and as you see the warning has gone away now remember one thing i had deliberately made this error just to demonstrate that whenever you get error how do you tackle it if the reaction phase is other than what the reaction phase has been taken up in the settings then it is going to give a warning. Okay. So that is what was demonstrated here. How to remove these warnings. So whenever you get a warning, go to the settings and check whether you have selected the correct reaction phase or not. Right. Because what was coming here was a liquid phase. As you can see here, it was mostly liquid and the other a very slight part that is around 13 percent was vapor but when the reaction occurred at the temperature given in the reactor the outlet was liquid so it means the reaction phase was in the liquid phase all the calculations were done for the liquid phase but since it was put in the setting as vapor phase it gave an error so that was all about how to simulate reactor number one if you have any queries do write to me in the comments in the next lecture we will be simulating the reactor number two and after that in the other two lectures we will be simulating the distillation columns and the entire flow sheet so stay hooked watch all the videos in these seven videos, seven to eight videos, I will be covering up the simulation of this entire plant. This is a great experience to have as a chemical engineer. So goodbye friends, have a great time and keep watching and do subscribe my channel. This is very essential to me. Bye.